Please stop following. Please stop following. Hey, what up, what up, what up? <clears throat> it's your boy, Tyler McVicker, passionate gamer here. How you guys doing? We just started with a, a raid by Trav Guy TV. What up, Trav Guy TV? Thanks for the uh thanks for the raid. Hashtag beef. How you guys doing? Fox die 987 978 with the uh follow and then R3D Doot with the follow. Thank you very much. So we're starting up today, and as always, we're gonna we are going to be playing some Cyberpunk 2077, 100% very hard unmodded. But we are going to be starting with a Doom Eternal uh, Ultra Nightmare attempt. We uh, we try every day, every stream, to do a, a Doom Eternal Ultra Nightmare attempt, and today is no different. So uh, we have uh, we have a lot to cover. It's been a couple of days. I got some videos out. We got the Fallout New Vegas 2 video out today. We got the the big Citadel thing out the day before. I'm not going to be able to stick around, but I hope you're well. Let's see if I can come back later today. No problem. Robotainment loves you, G. With the Twitch Prime, 24 months for Robotainment. That's two years for Robotainment. Dude, killing it. All right, let's get going. Play some Doom Eternal. I had to completely reinstall the game because we crashed on Exaltia every time that we got to Exaltia. But we will start on the beginning of Hell on Earth, like always. Uh, bro, your Citadel video was fire. Thank you. Me and Mick Vicker love you, G. Woohoo. Keep it up. Thank you, Horror X Fiend, with the Twitch Prime for three months. Thank you very much. Um, will it crash? Place your bets. I tested it before the stream. It shouldn't crash, but you never know. So we're just going to get started. Ultra Nightmare. Here we go. What do you think of G-Man Squad? I vaguely remember G-Man Squad. Against all the evil that hell no, can Oh, saying something. What? All the wickedness that mankind can produce. We will send on to them, we only to you. Starfield video? I don't really have much to say about Starfield. It's going to be out in November. I might make a video about it after it's out. You know? Until it is done. How I handle Bethesda's stuff is a bit different from how I'm going to handle other stuff. Uh, D Squared Dan with the Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. D Squared Dan for the Twitch Prime. Remember, Twitch Prime is free. If you have it, please use it. You don't gotta use it on me, you could use it on someone like Trav Guy, you know? Market on your hunt. You know? A little loud. Pop, 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 pop. I have located the priest signal. I will mark it on your HUD. So this is Ultra Nightmare. I have never completed an Ultra Nightmare run before. Um, and we're gonna see how far we can get. Or we die. So we're gonna see how this goes. When we die, we're switching to Cyberpunk. And of course, if we hit $100 in donations today, uh, I'll talk about what I found with CSGO Source 2. Exhibition point donate chat. We're always going to start with Sticky Bombs. Who the hell starts with Full Auto? I wish Hugo Martin was my dad, but more importantly, I wish Hugo Martin was my friend. So we'll be switching to Cyberpunk fairly early then, huh? Hey, Reno, go suck a nut. I mean, if we die, like, super, like, in this room, we're going to redo it. We're going to redo it. Cause that's, just, that's just sad. When you hear that low ammo sound, get your FP ready. You know, go get a can of almonds, take one out, and suck on it. No, 
know you, I'm allergic to your bullshit. Ah, piss. I don't deserve to keep going. I can't believe I missed that shot. Who's left? There they are. Hey, it's my son. Hey, it's Lynn. Seriously, please stop supporting my ticket. games. Have the Tyler and have a confession. Uh -huh. I was the one behind that purple Tyler joke a while back. I about died when you tweeted out the video. The purple Tyler video? Yeah, don't do that again or I will find you. Thanks for the $5 cruise games. $95 left. We'll talk about CSGO Source 2. You know, Source 3 will be out one day. My kids will be able to tell their kids. Source 3. Yo, this is like that part in Half-Life. It's like, this reminds me of the beta. Oh, beta vibes. Can we get some hashtag beta vibes in chat? Man, this is giving me some real boss baby vibes. Turtle Zero, yo, sup, Tyler, a new video was sick. Which one? I put up two in the last 24 hours or whatever. Thank you, but which one? Both. I'm gonna hit you with a both. Gotta love it when belding. Man. When belding? That's some real beta vibes. You happy with the view count on the Citadel one? So far, yeah. It's definitely gonna get... It's gonna please double. Please stop following. Yo, thank you for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. It is gonna double because of how it's getting... Eurogamer literally just published an article about it. PC Gamer did an article a while ago. Uh, IGN, I don't know, has done a video yet, but they probably will follow suit. Tarot straight up posted a clip from it. Hey man, they added me in the tweet. I'm fine with that. No one does that. No one ever freaking does that. I'm I'm totally cool with that. They added me. Yeah, people like Valve News, man. Who knew? bought this game over the last holidays and you've only played it for an hour or two? What's wrong with you? 
This game's sick. One of the best games ever made. You never finish games. This isn't even that long of a game. It's like maybe 12, 12 hours, 13 hours. Maybe someday someone will make a news network for Valve News. Dude, that's a good idea. Is it cool if I'd steal that idea? It was a push for me to finish Half-Life Alex. What was a push for you to finish? Have you finished Half-Life Alex? If you own a VR kit and you haven't finished Half-Life Alex, do yourself a favor and go do that. The last two hours of Half-Life Alex, it's like, oh, it's some of the best video games Valve has ever made. It's like insanity. From the parking garage battle to the crazy combine house thing. Like the surrealist combine house thing to breaking into the combine substation thing to get to the ball and you're throwing grenades and stuff in zero g it's just oh man the last two hours of that game Me and me, Vicar, Mark marshmallow G. with the twitch prime thank you very much remember twitch oh jesus what yes i can try and talk quieter pork marshmallow thank you very much for the um the Twitch Prime. If the Twitch Prime is free, if you got it, use it. You don't gotta use it on me. You just use it on someone. Like, maybe you can use it on Pork Marshmallow. I don't know. The last two to three hours of Half-Life Alex is just... It's the best thing Valve's ever made. It's just the, the, the first few hours of Half-Life Alex is... Uh, not as replayable, kind of slow, because it, it it keeps assuming that that you've never played VR before, which I get it. You know, this definitely was an introduction to VR for many people. But you saw the ending as a YouTube clip and you regret it. Yeah, it serves you right for not finishing the best thing that's happened with video games in a very long time. This is a necessary step on the path to a brighter tomorrow. Dude, I'm a student, I don't have money for an index. Well, yeah, that's fine, but you don't have money for a quest? They got shafted on Game of the Year. They got shafted by the Game Awards in general, and Jeff Keighley was the only person allowed in their offices during their development. And he didn't pick them because, oh, people, none of the people have VR. So it's not, it's not, it's not a widespread enough choice. I don't want to shaft Apex Legends. Or whatever the hell. Come the fuck on. It's the best thing that's been made in a very, very long time. I don't like Jeff Keighley very much. Conflict of interest? It's a vote. It's a vote. It's a friggin' vote. How is it a conflict of interest if it's a vote? The Quest 2 wasn't out when HLA came out. That's true. You're right. I'm sorry. But it is out now. So this game, this um, this map for Half-Life Alex just came out called Monomyth. I actually wrote that thing. I wrote the treatment for that, and I played through it. Um, I got to I beta tested it early on its development, and then I kind of stopped talking to the guy for a while because I got really, really um, depressed. The Citadel VR scrapped. I thought it was. It doesn't seem like it is. The Nova Prospect one, yeah. So, 
in my original version of the game, you're going to, to like take out this combine power source. Um, you're going to take out this combine power source by this guy that talks you through the through the thing, you know, and he's claiming to do all this stuff for you, blah blah blah. And you walk through the, you, you do what he's asking you, but then in the final moments, you realize that he's actually like he's effectively made you like do something like for the combine you know and he was a double agent who was setting you up the whole time and it ends with him like i could never come up with a proper reason for why he made you do this but he makes you he's at the end when they he's like oh dude we did it here you know cheers to you and they hand you a drink and you know the, the guys behind glass and I was like you make them like raise a glass and do cheers and then drink the and what it is is um you're drinking water and next thing you know you're sitting in this train station you know just kind of confused and some guy walks up to you and you're like I gotta warn this guy don't drink the water they put something in it to make you forget I, I don't even know how I got here That was my original idea. He has the write-up of my original idea. Eli was part of it somehow. Um, but he's been really cool. He was he was cool to talk to. No problem, Bob. Stayed on Citadel VR. It's in development. Watch the late. Did you not see the latest video? Ask Escapist for Git access. I don't know Escapist. Well, Citadel is likely taking place in between Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2, like around the same time as Alex. Well, not around the same time as Alex, before Alex. So, yeah, I'd probably have some form of Zen Coral and Prana. Do you not have a daily change log for Citadel? No. That data mine was the first real big information drop I got on the project in a really long time. Have I played Half-Life Alex wirelessly on the quest? Yes, I have. I really should make a video on how to set that up properly. I use virtual desktop and not Airlink. Airlink sucks. Airlink is not a good system. So, I mean, it sounds like Citadel is actually borrowing from a lot of different canceled Valve projects. Team Force 2 Brother of Arms, Team Force 2 Invasion, um... Half Life Margarita, um, some alien early alien swarm concepts, um, Life for Dead 3, Dog Resource Gathering. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's, that is, they're kind of pulling. Apart. Please stop following. You need to get that beginner's guide to VR project out. I'm never gonna do it. I'll never do it. 
That project was that project is cursed. I'll make a video on how to, you know, the best way to play Half-Life Alex. I'll make a video on the, the best way to wirelessly play on the, the how to play, you know, you know, my tips for the quest. But, did you just say Half-Life Margarita? I did. Look up Codename Margarita. Well, actually, I don't know if there's a write-up about Codename Margarita. It's kind of a an unknown thing. So it's more of a full game now instead of some weird experiment, yeah. You're just getting drink recipes? Alright, well, it was a, um... It was one of the directed design experiments. The same group that got, you know, that came out with um, F-Stop and Time and all that. And this game was about to is to be how the it was it was essentially like how to evolve the Combine for Half-Life 3. And it was kind of like Gordon Freeman's suit acted almost like Mega Man, where you could extract components from other fallen enemies and upgrade your own suit, but with a lot of like limitations on what you were able to carry and what was actually possible, you know? Um, and it seems like the Citadel ability system is borrowing heavily from that. What are the chances Valve makes it their Smash Bros? Not low, but... I mean, it was a rumor a while ago, and I mean, look, it's it's a multiplayer rule set. You don't necessarily have to write yourself into a seven hours of work corner if you're gonna try and keep it updated for longer than a couple of months. Which, knowing Valve, they might, so who knows. Never heard of that? Yeah, well, it was canceled very early in development to make way for F-Stop, which then got canceled to make way for Kind of just how Valve works, canceling projects every damn day. Please stop following. Thank you for the follow if you're new to the channel. Please follow. Don't worry, they'll cancel Citadel at 98%. You're totally right, they probably will. Nearby. The ideas She's from their canceled things always seem to show up eventually. Up. Yeah. I will mark her location on your HUD. Like Half-Life Alex was Left 4 Dead VR, um, uh, a Half-Life like of immersive sim RPG thing. My scans indicate there is a Half Life 3, this, facility. Um, this puzzle game, which was the hacking mini games. <sighs> and um yeah. And then there's some other smaller stuff, like Alex's gun is from episode 3, and what else? Uh, there's a lot of stuff. The con maker is present at this gathering. Half Life 3's been cancelled three major times. Yeah, Half Life 3 has been cancelled three major times. Bet your ass you saw Half Life 3 assets on Alex. Yes, you did. Yes, you absolutely did. Um, the flame belt is now the Civil Protection remake is from a version of Half Life 3. The uh, Combine Guard gun is from Half Life 3. Um, Do you actually think Valve will change for the better someday? I don't. I think Valve will always be them. Valve will always be Valve. Did you already talk about the CSGO findings and desk job? No. Uh, we have a donation goal for it, and I'll talk about it now. If not, it'll be a video in the upcomer, up, like, later. 
Actually, I just want to donate to chat. It's the dono goal at the top of the screen. What's Valve? It's this freaking toxic ass company. Electra said I need to be a little, a little more positive. And you could be a little more positive. Do you not like the state of Valve? Um, Valve is like a bunch of little companies all working under a single umbrella. And I don't like like all but one of those little companies. Oh, that sounds cool. Let's get really obsessed with it. Shut up. Doom Demon, Kako. Doom Eternal Kako is so much fun. I think he's really fun. Shake him? Okay. I like the Marauder. Uh, I like the Pain Elemental. I like just blowing through fodder demons. Uh, did you get any Bethesda vinyl figure stuff? No, nah, I try not to buy the, the nerdy merch stuff anymore because I'm terrible with money and I'll just waste all of it. Do you think Valve are still innovators? Absolutely. You don't think the Steam Deck is an innovation? It's just they tend to innovate and then go, all right, I'm gone, bye. That was such an easy moment. How did I get tripped up by a Hell Knight? How did I get tripped up by a Hell Knight? I'll tell you what I how I got screwed up there. Right when um I approached him, you saw me toss a grenade. I meant to flame belch him. But um I threw a grenade instead and it kinda threw me off. I got punched. What percentage is efficiency is Valve working at now? 100%. They're back at it, bruh. Stay back. If you want to be back at the office, you can be back at the office. That's where they're at right now. Damn it. 
That was, that was, that was, that was embarrassing. Yeah. Oof, I'm I'm embarrassed, I'm sorry. Alright, well. On to Cyberpunk. Percentage chance that Citadel actually gets released at this point. Um eighty five percent? I'd say eighty five percent. Yeah. I like those odds. All right. All right. As always, we're going for 100%. And we are trying to max level our character before we move forward with either main quest or side quest content. Percentage chance we get a follow-up to Half-Life Alex in less than 15 years. 15 years, 100%. They wanted to release it along the Steam Deck originally. No, of course they did. They never get that, though. They never do that in time. They are terrible with that. They wanted to launch Alex with the Index. And then rebooted the damn game. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant, Lieutenant Sarah, Sarah Kakovsky, Kakovsky spokeswoman, spokeswoman for the, for the NCPD. NCPD. Hi there. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the show. show. Thanks, Ziggy. All right, when we last left RV, we were cleaning out Haywood. We're somehow not in Haywood right now. That's weird. Okay, um, so let's fast travel to Haywood. Haywood. El Coyote Cojo. There you go. Hey, Wood, me in the morning. Both 2016 and Eternal are excellent games, but neither of them are perfect. Because neither of them are Doom 3. Doom 3 isn't perfect. I like Doom 3, but... They wanted to launch Citadel with the Steam Deck. They wanted to launch with, like, a big-ass game. But of course they couldn't, because they could never do that. They're never good at that. Alright. Let's do some, uh... Some of this. Let's, let's do something real fun up front. Do some of this. We have $232,702. We are level 45 with maxed out street cred. We are definitely going to hit max level, if not this stream, next stream. Instead, they launched with a small ass game. A great game, but yes, a small ass game. If you're just joining us, my character is a cold blood engineering assault rifle based character. With a slow motion mod attached. We have done almost none of the main quest or side quest content. And instead have elected to clear out every NCPD side hustle and gig before moving forward. To be able to see if when you go into early game uh, content with a max level character, does anything change? The answer, probably not. But we need to check anyways. Both Doom games aren't perfect because they're not Ricochet. Boy, I'm, I'm here to tell you something really upsetting. Ricochet is not a good game. It's not a good game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to hear this from me. Ricochet sucks. Ricochet is is not a fun video game. All right. So we're doing the NCPD side hustles in Haywood. So we're gonna go there. Oh, 
Hello? Got an elevator. Oh, nice. Oh, it's one of these elevators. It's one of them. It's one of those. I was I'm reading about one of these elevators. Look at that elevator. Wow, it's one of those. Clip that for me. I'm sending that to CBPR. Yes, if any bugs take place in the game, I would highly, highly appreciate it if you clip it because I have a direct line to CDPR to get that shit fixed. So thank you very much. Actually, let's check out this junk shop. Haywood seems to be my least explored area because while I've been doing the Haywood stuff, I don't recognize the majority of it. Oh, it's the record shop. Right, 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 right. Yes, I do know that. Oh, did. Oh, wow. I like that effect on the ceiling. That's new. What can I do for you? Hi. What do you got for sale, bruh? Blistering Love Record. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. So if I buy the records... I can play them in my apartment now, huh? Is that what's going on here? I can play these records in my apartment now? That's awesome. That's really cool. What are the guitars for, though? Can you really play them? Uh, we're about to find out. Because your each apartment, each of the new apartments have a record player. I mean, all of those records are songs that are in the game. Right? So it's like, it wouldn't be completely unnecessary to think, okay, so it's just, it's the way you could play the, the stuff in the game. It's probably just wishful thinking, though. Let's go see. What's my next video? I don't know. What would you like to see? I, it's, I, it could be a, one of many different things. Ah, pleasure. The Linus video? Not yet. Almost. I was talking to Luke today. Almost. Witcher news? Hmm. Not a whole lot of Witcher news right now. Think about it. I guess I haven't purchased the Glen apartment. Now, Need money? No, sell a kidney. I should sell a kidney. Yeah, the Linus video was the float plane stuff, you are correct. What's going on here? Hey, you just slapped that guy. Who are you? Oh, you're just a civilian. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Thank you. That's a clip. I didn't buy the Glen apartment. I've never been here. 40,000. 40,000. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. Do you think Citadel will be the next big multiplayer game? Like, in general? Probably not. It'll be something.
Oh, nice. Is this just the apartment? Damn. It's not giving me any options. Wait, can I not? I cannot! I got excited and I cannot. I have all these records. Can't do anything with. These are all real songs in the game. Why can't I just... So that was Black Dog. I played Black Dog. It's just consi it's always playing Black Dog. Maybe not there. What the fuck? It's the Kabuki apartment? Why specifically a Kabuki apartment? What the hell? Oh, that's sick. I like that. I guess I'll go to the Kabuki apartment. Hi Tyler, I love your videos. I love the awesome, passionate gamer that you are. You're great. Hey, you're great, Charlie Wonder One. Thank you very much. Tyler, do you have any info on the follow-up to Half-Life Alex? Yes, I do. Yes, I am planning on making it a separate video. Thank you very much for the question. It's in the Kabuki apartment. Which one is the Kabuki apartment? Is it here? Thank you for the answer, no problem. Any chance that the CSGO Source 2 port is a whole new game? Uh, not really, no. Not with some of the things that they've chosen to do. Please stop following. Thank you. For the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. You said Kabuki apartment. Kabuki apartment is the mega building, isn't it? You meant the north side apartment. Do you think now's a good time to play Cyberpunk? I do. Do you think Valve will ever get out of their stagnation? I think parts of Valve will never get out of their stagnation, no. But I think there are other individuals at Valve that are geniuses and should probably, you know, probably work somewhere else. Wait, this isn't the apartment you were talking about either. The Japantown apartment is what you were talking about. Man, you a smelly boy. <sighs> Kabuki. Who's the one that said Kabuki apartment? You're dumb. Suck a nut. You should be an expert on this game, just like me. Mr. Stern. Robot genitalia for all occasions. You can't be an expert and a passionate gamer at the same time. You know, you got me there. You got me there, bud. You're right, you're right, and you are right. Alright, where's the record player? There it is.
Me and make Vicker love you, G. Great Tyler, one. you are most certainly a passionate gamer. Thank you. Grey Wolf with the 11 months on uh, Twitch Prime. Remember, Twitch Prime is free. Use it if you got it. I'm angry. Seems like such an obvious thing to do, too. Someone clip my reaction to that record player. Any news at all on Grey's project? Nope. I own all the apartments now. I should be given a gift. I should be given a gift. Why they allow you to buy that stuff? It's so unnecessary. I don't know. In all fairness, Your Honor, Tyler was in goblin mode. <laughs> Is it that Never Call Saul meme that you're referring to? I clicked on this stream because pooping. What gives? Man, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what you're talking about. Pooping is not allowed on this stream. I think I'd be banned. I think that's TOS. When are you moving to Canada? Uh, I don't have exact date. But within the next two years, probably. That sounds about right. Do subs count towards the donation goal? Unfortunately, not. But thank you. Next major point, donate in the chat. Uh, goes towards the, the donation goal. Apparently there's a quest in here. Collect my reward. What's my reward from, from Dino? It's that shotgun, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Dino. Yeah, I guess I'll use that. Thanks, El Capitan. Black dog in the street, sucking nuts and a teat. <laughs> Can never have any fun when my wife is sitting behind me. But that was pretty good because it's exactly, it sounds exactly like the song, so. Electra doesn't get it. She doesn't play cyberpunk. We got free healthcare. Uh, everybody's like, oh, it's so expensive. Do you have any idea how much I pay in self-employment taxes, guys? Seriously, do you actually understand how expensive it is to be self-employed in rural America? Tyler, I don't mean to uh, scare you, but there's a lady behind you. Oh shit, she's hot. Oh no, he's hot! Alright, let's go back to Haywood. Let's go over here. Huh? Um, can you be seen? Not really. How do they know you're there? Because you keep correcting me? You yelled at me for saying suck a teat. How did they not hear you? Alright. So let's let's clear out Haywood. Let's let's clear out Haywood. What do we got going on in Haywood? We got this assault in progress. Yo, that's a cool looking gun. We're gonna use it for a minute. Yo, I heard there's some crime going on over here. Well, I've got the best solution for crime. 
I went to the School of America, and they taught me that crime equals I'm gonna shoot you with a gun without consequence. Yeah. Are you threatening me? For real? Whoa, we'll see about that. Oh, that guy glitched out. Get ready to clip it, boys. Ugh. I think she swore at me in, in Spanish. Man, I am not upgraded for this kind of character right now. Why did you sound... Why did that guy sound like a radio DJ? It's the future. Everybody goes to sounds to, um, you know, everybody is, um, some, sometimes a little bit in, um, the, their own voice. Sometimes. Taken care of. So I, I think it's this guy who's bugged out. <laughs> he yelled at me as I picked him up. Did you see that? <laughs> In the crate you go. Tyler, why are gamers? Tyler, why are games? Why are games? Uh, I think it's probably because of... Uh, Bad, bad fathers. I think it's probably the, I think it's probably a lack of a, of a, of good fathers. I think I think we have a uh, we need more fathers. We need I I should I should make a, a fathers for gamers program. That sound effect of that rub rub shit shut up that I don't know how many times I've heard that, but I hear that constantly. You know what I'm talking about? Like the one guy who's just shouting. Seriously, please stop supporting my kicker. Heres jeden i pięć dziesiątych copies of Doom 3. Also thanks for talking about cool stuff. You are welcome, plastic uh plastic ninja guy. Thank you very much for two two and a half copies of Doom 3. I will add it to my many already copies of Doom 3. I do own a couple copies of Doom 3 already, but if this money is earmarked for more copies of Doom 3, I must, I mean, I have to listen to what you're asking me to do, right? Like, that's that's what happens with the money. That's, that's the point. You know, like... I own the Slayer collection on both PS4 and Xbox One. I'm kissing copies of the Doom Slayer collection. Doom 1, 2, 64, 3, and Eternal. Plus a poster. Check this out. I already have the one poster back there. But guess what's gonna go up next to it? His brother. Are revenants male or female? And I also have an Xbox One controller skin and a PlayStation 4 controller skin show Electra she would kill me what? they want me to show you well she's right there you can see her head she's playing Animal Crossing show me what? just show me what? just show you oh, yeah. that show oh you wanted me to show Electra the Revenants poster I show her your poster like they want me to show you the poster this is really cool I'm gonna really like this. I've seen that a million times. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. How have you seen it a million times? What do you mean? You've never seen this? Yes, I have. Is it that one? Yeah. 
my wife. Very nice. You know, I tried to kiss her, and then she went, you stink. Just like bluntly, she just went, you, you smell really bad. And I'm like, I love you too. Breaking news. Passionate gamer's wife already seen poster. Hey, is there a crime going on over here? I am the police. I am the judge, jury, and executioner. Check this out, check this out. Solved. Do you see me? There we go. The American crime system at it again. They started it. <laughs> Does she bring you a sandwich I didn't even ask for? Braless? Uh, I haven't. I, I'm no. I'm not a big sandwich guy. She's brought me soup I didn't ask for. I don't know if she was wearing a bra at the time. And I'm gonna be honest, soup is better than a sandwich. I'm team soup. What? What? What'd you say? What'd you say? Did you say it was a harassment? Because they're asking if you were wearing a bra when bringing me a sandwich? <laughs> it's a joke. It's a it's a meme. Some guy on Twitter bragged about, My braless wife just brought me a sandwich I didn't even ask for. <laughs> so he was trying to flex. Uh-oh. There's crime. Well, he for a while was like the number one viewed guy on Twitch. So, he probably thought he was the hot shit. How many views does Ninja even get nowadays? I never hear about Ninja anymore. Unless he's being cringe. Isn't he the guy that doesn't play video games with women? For some dumbass reason? Mixer shut down. He gets a sandwich from a braless wife that he didn't even ask for. Well, I, 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 I don't know if he's still married, but he was at one point. Wait, he did get a divorce, didn't he? Yeah, go ahead, tell me something. Yeah. 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 I don't think. I mean, he's been clowned on it for so long. I'm sure he knows now. Oh, he's still married? Okay. Aren't divorces shunned in ninja culture? I mean, if you're talking about, like, actual, like, historic ninjas, I don't know, maybe. You tell me, bro. Uh-oh, criminals. And yet you'd never bring me food in a, without a bra again. Yeah, but does that sound like something I would actually do? Tweet, my braless wife bra. brought me a sandwich Dumbass I didn't even body. ask for. No, absolutely fucking not. Yeah. Alright, we're three star, so we know a trick to lose our... Real quick. We just go to a, a, a restaurant. I want to afford to go to a restaurant. And then I want to go on a big old date day. And look at the graphics of this video game. This video game has all the graphics, man. Ah! <laughs> Never mind. 
I thought I could make that jump. Thoughts on Deus Ex? I've never played any of the Deus Ex games. I saw the, the, the H-Bomber guy video, uh, and I do plan on streaming through all of them, eventually. Including Invisible War and The Fall. Psycho Killer. Let's just say... Alright, let's get back to what we were doing. Man, I love listening to people orgasm in a bunch of different languages while exploring this game's world. What did I just pick up? Damn, I just got a legendary something. Is it a weapon? No. Clothing item? Yes! This jacket. 176. Oof, it's nowhere near as good as mine though. Is it an iconic or is it just legendary? It's just legendary. All right. Do you know anything about a Crazy Taxi reboot? Uh, no, I do not. I've never actually played Crazy Taxi. I never had a Dreamcast until I was much, much older. I've been predominantly a PC gamer through most of my life. Did you finish Forgotten City? No. Um, I think I'm gonna stream it, because the first twist occurred, and I was like, Oh, shh, what the hell? And it seems like an amazing game to stream. Ready to get your ass beaten? <laughs> Is that the funny squid game? Um, no, I don't think so. The Forgotten City? No, it was the game that was a Skyrim mod for a long time, and then they reached an agreement with Bethesda, and then they made it a standalone thing. Crazy Taxi came out on the Game Boy Advance? Really? I did not know that. These enemies are super easy. Well, it's unmodded, man. That's why we're playing unmodded, is to show off that the game isn't perfect yet. Whoa, what's this? What's this? Click that. the hell was the point of that? Huh? Electra's town sucks. Electra's playing, um, Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing. Oh, this is a river side quest location. Right. Shouldn't be here. Did you know that CDPR had Triss Marigold on the Polish Playboy cover? Yes, I did. They did a full spread. She was naked. Official Triss Marigold nudes. Which is in the first ten minutes of Witcher 2 as well. Ask Electra what she thinks of Scoot. Electra, what do you think of Scoot? She doesn't sound like she likes Scoot. No. Who is Scoot? Is what she has said. Bye. I don't know who Scoot is. I was told to ask you about your opinion of Scoot. The little duck thing is what she said. Is Scoot an Animal Crossing character? Did you notice that Doom 3's story is very similar to Half Life 1's? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. First time I ever played it, I was like, this is. And instead of aliens, it's demons. 
Which, to be honest, Electra really, really wants to have sex with a demon, so she'd probably like Doom 3 more than Half-Life. The NCPD advises those traveling beyond official police jurisdiction... Well, she didn't deny it, she just said not that kind of demon. She wants to have sex with Inuyasha and Shishoma. Yeah, but Inuyasha is only half demon. And you're more attracted to him in his entire human form. Oh, wow. I'm learning things about my wife ten years into the relationship. I'm upset. I will never have a dog penis, so I'll never be able to satisfy my wife. <laughs> You're the one that told me that you want to have sex with a, a thing. That's what Bad Dragon is for? Oh, that's right, they do make animal buildings. Alright. Hey man, you're the one that wants to have sex with a dog demon. You don't know that! Uber. They could very well have a dog penis. You don't know if Inuyasha has a normal penis or not. That doesn't mean it could have. Whatever. What is going on here? Some kind of negotiation between Max Tech and the. What the fuck? He got in the car. Hold on. Who is this? Are these. So the Valentinos are talking to the the Corpos? I wonder if this goes anywhere. Or is he just going to sit in the car and wait for me to kill everybody? I love that line. Need money? Sell a kidney! Would you choose in real life gravity gun or gravity gloves? Gravity gloves. There's so much... They're better. I don't think this is going anywhere. Es un putito. Es un putito. Cool little scripted scene that I wish had some form of dialogue according to it, but you, know, you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you just may find that someone might be willing to at least check to see if you have cancer. What's up? Why what? Did you did you spill lipstick in my Valentino white bag? Gravity gloves or portal gun? Portal gun. How is that even a question? Portal gun. Evening. Evening, profane coder. Why are you so profane? Are you getting the moon rocks from? Well, I mean, you don't need moon rocks to generate a portal surface. They were able to do it well before they ordered the moon rocks. I mean, the fifth, like, he didn't order the moon rocks until, what, the 80s? And they were doing portal testing as, as early as the 50s? All right, I'm going to bed. I adore your streams so much. M, I don't know what MWA means, but I appreciate the kind words. What's your favorite location on the 2077 map? Mm. Oh, probably Japantown. No, it, it's fine. Just fuck out my pills. Big man doing big man things. Oh, that's a kiss? Oh, mwah! Right. I get it now. Thank you. Uber what? They, I think, yeah, I think they were talking about some Animal Crossing character named Scoot. Santa yeah. Witness, the eyes beside you! Yeah. No idea. Yeah. 
Okay, so if the person who asked what she thought about Scoot is still here, it was a starter character for her, and she got rid of him because she hated him. So I hope you didn't ask that because he's your favorite or something, because you're about to learn that Electra doesn't really like a lot of stuff that, that you and I may like, such as the Muppets. Or Mr. Rogers. What? So she doesn't like Mr. Rogers because she's never seen Mr. Rogers. I don't know how you can go through your life never seeing Mr. Rogers, but she does. There isn't, there has never been a Saturday Night Live sketch that she finds funny. You're, I'm telling the truth. Am I lying, Boo Bear? Open fire! I watch Mr. Rogers with my grandfather all the time. Mr. Rogers, Crocodile Hunter, Carl Sagan, um, and uh, Bill Nye Science Guy, and the NASA Channel. A lot of educational TV with my pop pop. Reported crime. Smoking kills. Smoking used to get a bad rap, but smokers can breathe easy this day and age. Lung cancer? Buy a new lung. Throat cancer? Again, buy a new throat. Male performance problems? Mr. Stud will turn that dangle upside down. Turns out, however, the addiction itself can still lead to death. If someone's nasty keeping track of where and when you step out for a cig, well, maybe it was better to kick the habit after all. Junkyard Wars? You mean the Junkyard Wars? You mean Linus's thing? Junkyard Wars. A portal turret or a TF2 sentry gun upgraded to max? I wouldn't buy either. Why that why would I want that? I wish I yeah, I wish you could place mines as well. That's scrapyard wars. What's junkyard wars? That sounds familiar. Fake Linus fan. Shut up. Uh, yeah, my dad loves Storage Wars and Pawn Stars and all that. I watched it because it was on. I never really liked it too much. Oh, it was an old science show on the Discovery Channel. It sounds vaguely familiar. I'd buy the Spies Invisibility Watch. You see, when someone says something like that, I, I automatically think they're a creep. Especially the fact that you put an ellipses after you said that. Like, are you gonna buy the Spies Invisibility Watch to watch people get naked when you're not supposed to be or some shit? You put an ellipses. I think you're a pervert now. Oh, to steal money from banks? Exactly how are you gonna do that? How would you do that? Like, for real, how would you do that? Just because you're invisible doesn't mean you're gonna be able to break into their friggin' save. I don't think that it's possible for you to be able to, to effectively rob a bank if all you can do is turn invisible. Most money is digital anyways. It's like... That's a terrible reason to buy the Invisible Watch. I'm disappointed in you, son. I think I've got it. That boy don't got a head no more. I'm still in combat somehow, so obviously there's still someone to shoot. Yeah, I don't think it's a code used on modern bank saves anymore. I know a lot of it is biometrics and time and yeah. It's, it's, it's a bad idea. Just admit it, it's a bad idea. You had a bad idea. Hey guys, can I kill you? You guys are pretty chill, huh? What about now? No? Oh, okay. 
Man, that's too bad. You guys probably had kids and everything, huh? Well, now the kids don't have parents. I just killed some people. No big deal. Mm, I don't know about that. Oh, hey guys, I killed your friend. Oh, it, it, it wouldn't be fair if I didn't kill you guys too. Just hired Franklin, Trevor, Lester, and Michael to rob the bank. You know, Reno's thinking with his head. Looks like someone wants trouble. See what happens when you listen to me and you go suck an almond when I tell you to? You get smarter. You know what to do in life. Reno went and he sucked on an almond and he came up with a good idea. Do you hope for Citadel to be Half-Life or TF2 themed? It's Half-Life themed. It's, it's confirmed to be Half-Life themed through the data mines. I would love for it to be TF2 themed, but it's not. It's Half-Life themed. Just start a bank? You want to stick to your idea so much that you're now saying you're going to start a bank. How does invisibility help you start a bank? We gotta time this guy out. I think we gotta time this guy out, because he's gotta think about what he's done. That's a different person. Still. Dumbest thing you've ever heard. A what? Oh, wow, that's really smart, Lek. Lek thinks we should start a bank. That's really smart. I love you so much. Bienvenudo. Hey guys, I'm here to kill you. Yeah, just peek out your head one more time. I, I'll put some bullets in it and you'll fall over. Alright, go to sleep forever now. I am a demented man with a demented plan to turn invisible to rob a bank. Oh, you're alive. Can't believe you made it. I would like you to turn me into a bra so that I can hold on to your boobs at all times. I just started my own bank, taking deposits now. Your funds are safe with me. Well, I just started my own country, and I have outlawed your bank. Man, you gotta love it when you rob a sperm bank, because you're gonna be drinking well for years. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. What is stopping you from starting a country? I don't know. You just do. Is there a legendary crunch mod um, crafting spec anywhere? Would you work for Cave Johnson or Dr. Breen? Neither. I'd work for me. Seventy-seven 
legendary crafting blueprint locations. Crafting. We snaw. There is a legendary crunch. Alright, hold on. Cyberpunk 2077 legendary crunch. Print. Legendary crunch. Ha! Check out this verbo. Oh, man. Check out this verbo. mean the bully and stuff like that i mean the crunch mod the armadillo mods you can craft legendary armadillo legendary crunch mods now with the legendary crafting specs for them before this patch you only had a common crafting specs that randomly dropped uncommon rare and epic mods but this got completely changed now with this iPad you will actually get rare crafting specs for crunch, you will get epic crafting specs for crunch and you will get the legendary crafting specs as you see here. And they will replace all those epic crunch... Okay, well where do you get it?
Sorry, 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 sorry. I think the best place to find... So right now we're looking for Legendary Crunch and Legendary Armadillo. Chivok, it's 2 a.m. Go to sleep. Um, it's 8 p.m. Are we talking about you guys? How long have you been here? Uh-oh. What would you like to know? Yeah. I'm looking for legendary crafting spec blueprints. I'm trying to max out my character's build. I'm always checking to see if some of these like storage units can be opened. I know some of them can be. Just wondering. So, this guy doesn't have it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very curious because I would like to upgrade my weapons even further. But... It seems like, like, okay, so a legendary armadillo and legendary crunch does exist. But it seems quite rare. And also, is it, it's like random? Is it a random thing? Gun looks good, but hmm. Let's head over there. I have quite a few legendary crafting stuff, but, I mean, it's all just straight weapons, which is cool, but I do want to try and, you know, hmm. we'll see. Hey, this ain't over, you know. So I started editing together the different parts from my new long play series on the Passionate Gamers channel, my second channel. Oh, is this a store? This looks like a store. Like a... Okay. Um, and it's... Yeah, it's really long. Chivak and Ayano, you worked on this game. Do you know anything about where I could find legendary crafting spec blueprints. The mods, like weapon mod, clothing mod, blueprints for crafting. I know this game's huge and asking for one specific thing is kind of irrational to expect somebody to know. But I am um, like I want to because I'm using epics for everything but a lot of the items I have here are already legendary so they would be able to accept the legendary crafting and I've invested really really far into crafting so I'd like to take advantage of it because when you stack crunch oof, you know like it, it really does some some crazy numbers Yeah, I was editing through some of my long play, and it's not going to be that, like, heavily edited or anything. It's just, you know, just kind of like all the gameplay from all the streams put together. And, um, it's looking like, uh, they're going to be 12-hour parts, so each video will be 12 hours. Uh, 
Um, but the first video will be a bit longer, so it'll be all of Act 1 and preparation for the grind. So it'll be Act 1 plus the Delamain quest um, and the tarot card quest. And then it's going to be each video will be showcasing each of the... Don't you get them by default after reaching level 18 of crafting? Is that true? Is that true? Because I'm really close to level 18. Is that actually true? You get epics at level 14. Are you serious? All right, hold on. Let's just let's just. Okay, let's just make a bunch of grenades then. There you go, level 18. So then... Yeah! Wow! Thank you! Thank you. That... Thank you. That's awesome. That's... Sick. That's... That's really, really neat. Yeah, I'm trying to prove a point that the balance of the game just across the board needs some work, you know? Because I just invest into a specific kind of character and then I'm just absolutely wiping the floor with everyone around me. Okay. You know what I mean? I didn't mean to buy the knife. Didn't mean to buy that assault rifle either. Why does that assault rifle have a level 40? What? It's not even that good of a gun. What the hell? What do you want? Yeah, if you go down the engineering path like I did. Because, like, look, my character's reflexes and technical ability, first and foremost, with a secondary on cool for specifically cold blood. So I stack cold blood, specifically with, with assault rifles in mind, and then I only do engineering for grenades, and then crafting for upgrading the weapons. I'm unstoppable. I'm, like, every enemy is a friggin' pushover at this point, you know what I mean? Mastercraft. I just got an achievement. Mastercrafter. What, what, what is that? Mastercraft. It's not showing me. It's not showing me the tooltip. Craft three legendary items. I generally still don't like leveling system in Cyberpunk. Static immersive leveling, like some other 2000s games, is my preferred way. It's too formulated by the number of stuff to create artificial complexity without actually new gameplay features. Well... Yeah, I don't know. I think you're right. Just how the game goes about leveling is a bit strange. Because it's doing a lot, but it does it tells you very little. Eight seventy three point nine, that's insane. Alright, so Bop Bop. We're, we're still in Haywood, so let's take on some of these, some of these things. I don't know. So I, I really feel, I mean, I understand it's a lot of work. Like, probably too much work. But some mods, like FGR and, like, immersive gang roleplay... Um, are really good examples of making the game feel more like a, like like an immersive RPG instead of a you know whatever the system is because this system is easily breakable you know 
like, my first playthrough, I went tech weapons. Oh, dude, yeah, don't worry about it. I went tech weapons, and it just felt like, you know, it was super easy. Like, seriously, like, I just wiped the, like, nothing was difficult. Once you found that one tech, tech rifle, the Widowmaker... I just upgraded that over and over again, and then I was never killed, and I was playing on hard at the time. I don't know. I just want the game to be a, a difficult challenge for me, even late into the game. And the thing is, right now, I'm not late into the game. I'm just grinding NCPD side hustles and gigs, and I'm almost max level. And I want to see just how much of a push over the main quest is under that kind of a circumstance, you know? Because uh, it, it's not un it's not unreasonable to think that there are going to be players that do all the side content first. Do you know what I mean? Like that's how I play Bethesda games. Yeah, new game plus. I want the new game plus to make the game like insanely difficult. But unfortunately, I don't want the difficulty to be the form of bullet sponging the, the enemies. I hate that. That is such a lame way of doing it. Yeah, I was editing through my Back for Blood playthrough, um, the first couple parts of my this Cyberpunk playthrough, um, and probably the first part of my Fallout New Vegas playthrough. Do you think Keanu will return to voice in the expansions? Yes, I do. I mean, they knew they were making expansions before they shipped the game, but it probably would have been in the guy's contract, you know? Somehow I never noticed barely illegal. What's barely illegal? signs you passed oh it's one of the ads I don't entirely understand like the sh like the show Watson horror that's apparently like on every week or whatever like what is that show even about all the ads I see, like, in-universe about this really popular family sitcom called Watson Whore is just this, this woman throwing up. <laughs> That's all it is. Is it a show about a woman throwing up? Hey Tyler, love your videos. Keep it up. Alex thank you very much for the Twitch Prime three months. Currently on a one-month streak. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, that's a dude. Oh, still don't know what the show's about. Electra's in a fort. Electra's hiding from the world in a fort.
We're almost a 2,000 armor rating. My goodness. Next side hustle. Oh, it's high up. this say <laughs> how did the Valentinos take over a max tech vehicle I mean a trauma team vehicle The, VX, the VFX team that did the Batman movie definitely played Solo Cyberpunk. Valentino. Why do you see that? Oh, hey. Gotham feels like Night City. Oh, does it really? Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Be a great moment to let me fly this thing around. How long until a mod lets you fly an AV? It already exists. It's janky, but it, it exists. This is one of the first things people started working towards when they modded the game, you know? dudes that killed themselves. Yep. Ain't I the uninformed one? Well, no one no one thinks you're a passionate gamer, so the standards are lower, you're fine. Well, can I parkour over that? negocios con esa culera. Pues es tu lana, no chingues, pendeja.
AVs run on shoot two, yeah. Pretty much everything runs on shoot two nowadays. Like some of the older Nomad cards still kind of run on gas, you know, but not really. Like, gasoline is so scarce that no one in their right mind would run a, a vehicle on that. Oh, the price of fuel doesn't matter because there's an alternative fuel source. It's called Chew 2. It was developed in like the 2050s or something. Weapon. No. No. Electra's tired, guys. You want to go to sleep? No. You sure? So Electra's not going to let herself sleep, even though she's tired, because she, quote, feels like she didn't achieve enough today. Everybody now go yell at Electra on her uh, Twitter about how that is self-destructive. Ah! I got hit by a car. I just checked the rule book. Yeah, it's all Chew 2. What exactly is Chew 2, though? Like, I know it's an alternate fuel source, but, like, what is it? You know? Alright, so apparently this dude got a bulge. Oh, that's a penis. Yeah, that's a dude. Alright. Chew 2 is alcohol. Really? Basically, all the cars run on moonshine. Huh. Attention okay. all NCPD subcons. APB out for suspected organized crime activity on Skyline South. Can I help Primary you? target is Denzel Cryer, a.k.a. The Brain. Cryer leads a subgroup of the so-called Animals Gang, known to traffic the illegal supplement commonly called Juice. The city's got a reward on offer for neutralizing Cryer and his entourage. Juice. This guy's a juice dealer. He deals in juice. Rage. Fury. Carnage. Oh, hey. I'm ending you, naked. Who's that? Santa Cruz, I took a cab that ran on potato oil. Who here believes that alternate fuel sources are being absolutely crushed from being any any popular thing so that the oil companies will continue to have a monopoly on energy? Who here thinks that? Are you planning on taking uh, making a video about CSGO Source 2? Yes, I am, but I'll talk about everything I know if I get, uh, I fill the donation. Meeting. Also, Electra, go to sleep. Yeah, I know. I don't think she'll listen to you. Oh, wait, she's going to sleep. But you are, though. She just said, I can't go to sleep in this chair. I just freaking woke her up. Uh -huh. What have you done? Your friend, that's what I'm doing. You gotta make that donation goal, chat. I won't completely yeah. kill you. 
It's not a, a significant amount of information. It's not like as much information as the Citadel, which is why it's half the price, but it is. There's some good shit. No, it's not. It's hey, 8.30. Don't be scared now. Your Switch says it's 3.25 because you've been playing Animal Crossing and you're changing the time. <laughs> like a cheater. You cheat at Animal Crossing. You drive an electric car so I feel big brain with all these gas prices. You're right, but eventually, electric's gonna go up in price because it has to run on something as well. Sweat and blood. I did, that's why I said that. So, Lynn, you drive an electric car, you must be really wealthy. <laughs> I know that's not the case, but... My car runs on cum. Hey, don't be scared now! Flexes are now level 20. Your car runs on water? Yeah. The government's gonna kill you. Are you okay? Didn't they do that to some guy in the 90s? Yeah, but that guy was also kind of a con artist. And also, we're not entirely sure if that's true. There was this guy that was claiming to have figured out how to run a car on water. And then, apparently, the rumor is, the CIA killed him. Because if somebody was able to figure out a way to be able to run a car on something other than gasoline, the big oil companies and oil lobbies will do everything in their power to keep that from happening because then they'll stop making money. Listen, they already knew how to do that for generations. I'd rather not talk about this. I, honestly, this does kind of make me feel like it's going to put me in danger if we talk about this too much. Yeah, but that takes a lot of energy to do that. It's the story of Monsters, Inc. Oh, wow, yeah, it is. Holy shit. Wait, Monsters, Inc. was about an energy crisis and big business shutting down and then... Whoa! <laughs> How did I not <laughs> figure that out? You just blew my mind. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Oh my god, did you just see the T-Poser? Did you just see the T-Pose? Please, someone clip the T-Pose. This is, this is the newest version of the game. Still T-Pose. You going to lay down? Um, she's so tired. She's claiming that she's not going to go to sleep. She's fucking lying. I'm going to go upstairs in half an hour and she'll be gone. She'll be dead tired. Are you going to do a, a compilation of all the glitches you found? Yeah. But specifically to send to CDPR. I guess I can upload it though. So make sure you clip the... Clip the glitch. Clip the glitches. The end is near. The end is always near. Yet we somehow continue to live. That's why I think this is hell. <laughs> you know what I think? What up? Um, I like eating. Yeah, I know. I like eating.
ten wide. We should eat food together in a public setting. That's it, just that. And then uh, I come back to my place and clean my toilet. Oh, sexy. And then I might. Is the quality of the rest of the evening dependent on the quality of my toilet cleaning? Surround him! On my way! So I am fighting Tony. Oh, I don't know. Lay it on him! Affirmative! You're not gonna do that job either? So Elector is worried that if I do a sponsored spot for her Fiverr business, her line editing and um, what's the other word? Developmental editing business for novels and up-and-coming novels and such. She's afraid that my audience will like revolt and get really, really mad at me for telling people that my wife has a, a small business editing people's books, and that she's looking for new clients. Do you think something as wholesome and normal as is that will get people angry? Do you think it's that, like, I've been trying to convince her that it'll only do good, because then she'll get, like, m m many more people interested in her business. Right? Uh, everybody's like, you should... It, why do you care? You would get like a 5,000% audience boost. Why would you care? Because she cares too much. <sighs> Maybe you just don't care not enough. So bad. What? I'm too tired to go. I'm too tired. You're too tired to leave? Electra's too tired to leave. Yeah, we're gonna go take on a cyber psycho. Oh no, I'm all upset and stuff. This is outrageous. I'm starting a witch hunt. Who's with me? Oh, Lek, you were right. People don't like that I was gonna advertise for you, my wife. Exploring Night City. I think that's my favorite part of the game. Is just walking around and looking at all the nooks and crannies. There's so much stuff. There's just Night City is insanely big. I have no idea how any but like how they made a city this big and like varied and realized. Yeah, what up, girl? Why are men always trying to mansplain women on what? Okay, but they can't even aim at the toilet, right? I love you. <laughs> You're such a fucking goofball. Do you guys follow what she's saying? Because I kind of do, because she's brought this up in the past, but you guys are hearing this for the first time. <laughs> Imagine a Borderlands 2 VR-style crosshair when you piss. I never played that. Sit down, piss gang. Is that because you have a vagina, or because you just like to sit down when you piss? Hands on your body. I don't want to waste your time. You just like to sit down when you piss. Option two. Good. You know? Can I see your skill tree for a bit? Yeah. 
which about which one you want to see the piss skill tree reflex please so I've only invested into assault handguns and blades are completely empty doesn't come out straight anyways it's hard to aim cool thanks yeah no problem Seven body. Yeah, I just, I knew what I was building from early in the game, and I stuck to it. And I broke the game. Profane Coder, it's almost 3 a.m. here. I have classes tomorrow. See you, Tyler. Have a good one. You too, man. Have a good day at class. Thanks for watching. My wife is kind of going loopy because she's tired, and I think she's waiting for me to end the stream, <laughs> to be honest. I have chili upstairs. Uh-huh. You have chili upstairs and, like, I don't know. I have chili upstairs and, like, I don't know. I have chili upstairs, and I feel like if you make chili, you can eat it twice in one day. Why? Because I'm only eating one meal today. Yeah, but what does that have to do with specifically chili? I got chili upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But that doesn't answer my question. Yeah, okay, so you have chili upstairs. I wish CSGO Source 2 would have anti-cheat that would kill the cheater in real life. <laughs> Can Valve do that legally? I don't think so, no. I'm, 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 unfortunately, I don't think Valve can commit murder to somebody using an aimbot. Do you think that would be okay for Valve to do? I mean, rich people get away with a lot of stuff. That's true. Rich people do get away with a lot of stuff. They got lawyers to do whatever they want. They don't have as many lawyers as you'd think they have, but you're right. They got three lawyers. No, they have more than three. They have three lawyers. Okay, they have three lawyers. They got three. They have three lawyers. They don't call in the rest of them unless it's unless it's bad. Your Honor, they hacked in the video game. Oh well, in that case, death. <laughs> so weird. They got three lawyers. I'm telling they you. They got three lawyers. I'm serious. No, we're serious. Three lawyers. They got three of them. That's it. I got three. <laughs> That's it. Look at that. My armor value is 2014. Wow. Yeah. If I was rich, like, like Elon Musk rich, I wouldn't be doing the kind of bullshit he'd be doing. I would just try and fuck with copyright law just to piss off corporations. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys hear Electra okay? That's not even true. I just lied. You just lied? Yeah. What'd you lie about? You wouldn't travel the world? I would travel the world, but I would do stuff. What would you do? I would write. You would write. You're a writer? I write sins, not tragedies. It's a tragedy. Everybody dies in the end. So why do they even tell you? Why do they? Even not tell everybody you? has to die in the end of a tragedy. Well, everybody's got to basically turn out really bad. Everybody's got to turn out Vera Bradley. I really like this game. 
Electra is actually waiting for you to end the stream. <laughs> I'm just waiting for her to directly ask me to end the stream because she's always afraid to put me out, and I'm trying to make her more direct in life. What's good to? Oh. If you end the stream, you won't eat chili with me. I don't like chili. You know that. All you gotta do is ask in front of everybody, please end your stream. How long have you been Two hours. Two hours. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's only 3.40 p.m. Yeah. Little sis is real True. upset the neighbors are leaving. Like their kid. specifically they're not even real people this is correct it's a video game no i mean like oh the chat no 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 these aren't even real who are you talking about the people on the yeah they're not real people did you think they were real people for a second <laughs> yeah i guess yeah kind of they're not real they're just they're programming they just walk around randomly that's all they do if you follow them around they don't do anything they just walk around they're just there to make the city feel like more of a city. I was talking to the Parapetia people. They're really making progress on that game. It's going to be awesome. We're not real, Tyler. We're all in your head. Is Electra real, at least? No? Shoot. All right, let's see with my absolutely insane character how quickly I can take out this cyber psycho. You think five seconds? Five seconds is your guess? It's a crosshair. Now, be careful. Be careful. Okay. See, so you have to aim. You have to aim that dot uh -huh. on, like, whatever you want to shoot. What are the lines? Just don't even worry about those. But they move as I move. What, what, what does that mean? Um, it's, it's just the crosshair. You just got to make sure whatever. Yeah, but I'm asking you what the lines mean. That's what makes it a cross. Finger on the trick. And she's down. Oh my gosh, I used the cross here. I did? Thank you for teaching me. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I, I have been explained and I've seen other women be explained so many times what a crosshair does and what it is and how you use it. You're very salty about that. Yeah. I've seen it so many times. Electra's a master gamer. She really <laughs> is, isn't she? This looks like it was a wedding. Did they murder a wedding? What the hell? Search the area for information to collect. Oh, it was a television set. For a movie. What the hell? The director. Okay. If sex is so good, why isn't there sex too? That's, that's 
that's a really good question. What do you think? Sex yeah, why isn't there a sequel to Sex yet? really smart. And maybe if you like upgrade, you get better at it. Alright, we got one more cyber psycho. Taste the love. No, I do not judge your grammar and punctuation in the chat. I feel like she does in her brain. I really don't. Buying the Vladimir Putin fun coat off. V. A few Zeta Tech corporals walked into an auto shop. The punchline none came back out. Apparently, it's a family business that's fallen on hard times. My hunch is the owners finally snapped, and you know I got a nose for this stuff. Which of the four Shrek movies? Oh! You distracted me with your damn Shrek question. Should I teach you how to use a crosshair? Yeah, I, I fucked up. I'm gonna need you to know, learn. We should try a sword. Oh, you know, that's a good idea. But no, I'm, a, I'm an assault rifle character. But I don't know how to use a crosshair, so maybe I'm not ready for an assault rifle. I've never seen the Shrek movies. I've only seen a few scenes, but I don't know which, which one it is. My favorite Shrek movie is Shrek 2. Did I already say that? Shrek 3 is terrible. Shrek 4 was fun. No, you just got inhaled. Electra's own Animal Crossing stream when? I don't know. I <laughs> never. <laughs> I'd rather be playing like The Witcher or something because my Animal Crossing village is awful. Like, I have the crappiest Animal Crossing village. Honestly, a five-year-old could do better. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, cool. oh, there are mines on the floor. I didn't even see those. That's what killed me. Guns. Seriously, like, what would you do if you didn't have your gun? You could always have magic. What else is in me? A butt plug. Why? That's a joke. I don't know. <laughs> what is a butt plug for? Why? What is the purpose of a butt plug? Pleasure, right? No. Or to hold your diarrhea in. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought what it was when I was a kid. But what are you plugging it for? Ask the chat. I'm sure there's somebody in there that likes butt plugs. Taco Bell? I want Taco Bell. That's what it's for? To stretch your hole for anal. Oh. Oh, it actually has a purpose? I thought it was just, like, an ornament. 
conversation kind of got away from me I was in the keeping diarrhea club it's to stretch your hole out for anal okay well now I know wow 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 See, wow. these are the things that need explained not crosshairs we're learning <laughs> we're learning why do they call it a plug then that's kind of like Gross. You know? I feel like there could be a better name for it. The anal stretcher? I don't know. I feel like rectum would be a good. You know? The rectal. The rectal reviver. You know, there was a guy in the chat that said he didn't like anal because it was too dry for his penis. I banned that guy on the fucking spot. When I was little, I thought if a girl and a boy be in the same toilet, a baby might be born as <laughs> Is that true? Is that actually what you thought? That is actually very accurate. Biology and anatomy. Really? So, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> what? So be careful. Guys, seriously. You gotta be careful out there. Don't pee in the same toilet as a girl if you're not ready to have a baby. That's why they had male and female bathrooms. Well, I remember I walked up to my mom in like third grade and went, I know where babies come from. And she goes, oh, do you? And I go, yeah, a guy pees on a girl. And she went and got my dad. And my dad laughed at me. Tell him what I thought how church went. Don't touch me, I'm still. So, the scene when SpongeBob gets the suds, it, you know, the episode where SpongeBob gets the suds, and Patrick so, cleans his hands and goes, Don't touch me, I'm still. Electra asked, heard that, didn't know what it meant, and asked her mom. What does it mean if a person is sterile? And she goes, oh, well, it means that the person can't have children. They don't, they don't have the, their capabilities. Please of, stop of following. And so for a very long time in her life, she thought Patrick was like, don't touch me. I can't have kids. I was probably only seven. Damn, poor Patrick. I never understood. I was like, that's irrelevant to what's happening. <laughs> SpongeBob's sick. I don't get it. Um, she also saw this documentary about a woman giving birth to a cat. And she, for the longest time, thought that was absolutely possible. And it was just like the luck of the draw. That once in a while, a woman will just give birth to a cat. Day, I still have dreams about giving birth to cats. Or children that will eventually turn into cats. Yeah, like, the, I'll be on the way home from the hospital and then it will turn into a cat. I I've never your had a dream where I gave birth to a human child. So I mean, you have, it's just not a human child that's, that's stuck dead. around. When I was seven, I heard a, some quote. I don't remember what would, and I wouldn't stop yelling it even in public. Save the virgins. I have no idea what it meant at the time. So when you were a child, you in public would yell, "Save the virgins." Love the content. Keep it up, June. Thank you, Neo Retro Diaries. It's very nice. June. That's that's slang in cyberpunk. It means friend. Yeah. It's like when you're you're my chew, you're my friend. It's like you're. Yeah. 
You, you make it up. You're better at this. That's a thing. That's not new. He killed his own chumba. His own chumba. Worth playthrough, absolutely. Uh, oh, no, this guy. Yeah, and why are you watching? Okay. I used to say, Bring out your dead when I was real young. I always thought that movie was overrated. I never really liked that movie too much. workers went on strike after finding their tools in the morning covered in blood. There's sites of parking lot where gangs have been known to pop up. Oh, Gang violence no. is a maybe, sure, but my money's on a cyber psycho attack. If I'm right, do what you can to incapacitate them. I'll take it from there. Is that really it? That can't be it. What the hell? Hey. That was so easy. Yeah, what's up? Oh. I could go for a foot rub. Don't say that out loud. Why? Because people are going to be like, oh, she's offering feet, Tyler. So, I've done all but one of the cyber psychos, and the last one isn't appearing. What's Owo? Uwu? It's like a furry thing. Beat Owo? Did she message me about the last one or something? Watch your feet. I only have one. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a brawl. Whoever wins. What does the winner get? The winner gets boobs. Winner gets a sub. <laughs> Excuse gets me. Taco Bell. Right. The last one depends on some later main story missions. Um, okay. Look at that. Look at all these completed NCPD scanners. We only got these few handful left. What are you doing? Ow! Ow! Tyler! What? You're I the wasn't one- I wasn't expecting that! Show everybody what you're doing. Ow! Tyler! She's sitting in the chair now. Ow! I wasn't ready for this! Why'd you do that? Tyler, I'm stuck. I'm like doing a split right now. I'm like doing a split! Why did you do that?
You honestly can't get out of that? There, we did it. I think this is definitely the period of time where I need to end the stream because Electra is going to keep hurting herself until I do. <laughs> Wait, how much could they actually see? <sighs> you just let that happen. Yeah, I did because that was so fucking embarrassing. <laughs> it had to be recorded. <laughs> how much did they see? I don't know. Did you just spill some monster on the oh. floor? Oh. Did you them to see no, they saw you struggle the whole time. <laughs> and then they saw you crawl off using the chair as your turtle shell. <laughs> Change scene, sorry. <sighs> I want to keep playing, but we gotta end it. Why? <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you just did that to me. Ah, boy. Alright. Let's find someone to raid. I usually like to stream longer than, than this, but Boo Bear is over, tired and it's been over two hours. cranky and wants attention. So. I can't believe you did that to me. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Ending was amazing. Thank you for the stream. Yeah, no problem. Are they talking about my pain? Yeah, I think I think they are. <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna raid this lady. Um, your raid phrase for today is, "I think I tore something." Just keep saying, I think I tore something to this poor woman, and we're going to see what happens. All right, peace and hair grease, everybody.